I have for you everything we know so far on the OnePlus 8T release date and price, including everything we know about the OnePlus 8T launch event and all the details about the spec and tech as well. So if you want to hear the latest gaming news, tech news, reviews and comparisons, hit that subscribe button followed by the bell. So we are now in autumn or fall and OnePlus have announced the OnePlus 8T, the successor to the OnePlus 8 and it is being announced this month. Today I want to talk to you about everything to do with the OnePlus 8T launch event date, the OnePlus 8T release date as well as the OnePlus 8T price with the latest on designs and specs. But first, before we go on any further into this video, this channel has just hit over 50,000 subscribers and I'm amazed by that number and it's all thanks to you guys for all of your support on this channel and making it such a great community. So because of this I've decided to do a little giveaway to one lucky subscriber and that lucky subscriber will get their hands on this. It is an 8th generation iPad. I've recently just done an unboxing on this actual iPad, so do check that out on my channel. But when we get over to 75,000 subscribers, I will reveal who the lucky subscriber is who will get their hands on this actual iPad here. And all the details are coming up later on in this video. So right off, OnePlus have just announced we'll be getting a OnePlus 8T very soon on their own website and lots of adverts are flying around. The OnePlus T models are known to be a polished version or turbo version as it were of the phones that came out earlier in the year. For example the OnePlus 6 was followed by the OnePlus 6T and then the 7 followed by the 7T. If you compare say the 7 to the 7T in design wise, they're basically the same but the specs on the 7T are slightly better than the 7. So right away the OnePlus 8T is set to be an improved version of the OnePlus 8 which was released in April time but it will be far ahead of the recently released OnePlus Nord what is an affordable mid-ranger the brand unveiled between launches of its big phones. So first off the 8T release date and price. OnePlus has two flagship rollouts per year, one in the spring and then another one six months later when it releases the T variant of its earlier phones. That's what's happened a year ago with the OnePlus 7T and the OnePlus 7T Pro which showed up in October after a spring release of the OnePlus 7 lineup. OnePlus is following suit this year having announced a launch event on October 14th. This is a bit different from last year where it held two events, one for the 7T and one for the 7T Pro. However it has not been confirmed if this is the actual release date of the OnePlus 8T. A lot of journalists and reporters are confused if this is just the launch event or that it is both, that it is the actual launch of the OnePlus 8T and also the launch event as well at the same time. Personally I think it's not the launch date or release date and I find it quite strange for the keynote event to happen on the same day that buyers could potentially buy it at the same time. If OnePlus follows its usual route what they've been doing in previous years, the 8T will come out probably about a week later, so around the 21st or 22nd of October. However, I will get confirmation about this to you in the Mo. Let me just talk to you about the price first and you'll see how this all fits in. So in terms of price, the OnePlus 8 and the OnePlus 8 Pro started at $699 US dollars, what was about £599, and $899 US dollars, what is about £799. This gave you 8GB of RAM and 128GB storage on both phones, but you could pay a bit more money to bump that up to 12GB RAM and 256GB storage. The T versions of the OnePlus flagships tend to cost a little more than the original phones they're based on. However, we've just had a leak from the Amazon German listing for the OnePlus 8T. It shows details including the launch date is October 20th, this is where you can actually get your hands on the actual phone, and interestingly to note, a price tag of 693 euros, what is around 815 US dollars in this listing. 
This will get you the 12 gigabyte, 256 gigabyte variant now. We've also heard that an 8 gigabyte and 128 gigabyte space model will cost around about 599 euros, what is around about 699 US dollars. The 8 gigabyte, 128 gigabyte OnePlus 8 originally launched in Europe for 699 euros, again about 822 dollars, although it's currently available at 649 euros. If the leaker's price for the OnePlus 8T is correct, that means it will be cheaper than the base OnePlus 8. On top, unlike previous years, there won't be a McLaren edition of the Pro model this time, as the partnership with McLaren has ended. So moving on to specs and design. First off, in recent years, OnePlus has released a pricier Pro version, just like that McLaren one I just spoke about, to go with its standard flagship. That could change though with the OnePlus 8T, as a leaker, Max J, published a cryptid tweet using the OnePlus 8T's Pro codename to suggest that the phone won't appear this full. However, fans of the Pro model shouldn't despair just yet. Evan Blass, a reliable leaker, suggested that the OnePlus 8T Pro is still on the cards. As for the actual shape of the phone, we would have expected the curved display and punch hole front camera notch of the current phones to remain in the OnePlus 8T. However, a drawing by leaker Steve Hemistoffer, aka on leaks, has posted at Price Barber a phone what is more in line with the OnePlus Nord's look, with flat edges as shown in the renders here. For the screen on that phone, the OnePlus 8 uses a 6.5 inch FHD OLED display and has a 90Hz refresh rate. The OnePlus 8 Pro has a 6.78 inch QHD OLED panel and it's capable of a faster refresh rate of 120Hz. When the OnePlus 7T and the OnePlus 7T Pro appeared last year, there was no change from the original OnePlus 7 Pro's display but the normal 7T gained the same 90Hz refresh rate as the Pro model. If OnePlus has again and confirmed its repeating history by giving the 8T a 120Hz refresh rate, by doing this it makes the phone cheaper and a lot more competitive with rivals. The German Amazon page confirms this with the OnePlus 8T 6.55 inch display adopting the Pro's model's faster 120Hz refresh rate now. So that giveaway I mentioned earlier, to be in a chance to get that iPad 8th gen in the giveaway, make sure you've hit that subscribe button and the bell first. And then I want to know from you, do you own an Android phone at the moment? And what model do you have? Or maybe you prefer iOS with an iPhone? I would love to know in the comments below what phone you have and what is going to be your next. With the latest OnePlus announcement and the soon to be iPhone 12 release, will either be on your shortlist? Let me know below to be in the chance and when we get over 75,000 subscribers, I will reveal the winner of the giveaway. So back to the OnePlus 8T. The German site also confirms a Snapdragon 865 processor inside the phone and a quad rear camera setup of a 48 megapixel, 16 megapixel, 5 megapixel and a 2 megapixel lens setup. Currently the OnePlus 8 uses a 48 megapixel main camera, a 16 megapixel ultra wide camera and a 2 megapixel macro camera. Meanwhile the 8 Pro has a 48 megapixel main camera, an 8 megapixel telephoto camera with 3x optical zoom and a 48 megapixel ultra wide camera and a 5 megapixel colour filter camera. The standard OnePlus 8 doesn't have a telephoto camera and adding one on would really help out with the experience. That may not happen though with the 8T, at least according to the latest rumours. We're expecting the 48 megapixel as the main camera and the 16 megapixel ultra wide shooter to return with the macro camera boosted to a 5 megapixel sensor, but we will also get a 2 megapixel shooter for the portrait sensor. The only thing really missing from the OnePlus 8 Pro's photography arsenal is more megapixels or better post 
processing. For example, the Samsung Galaxy S20 Plus uses a 64 megapixel telephoto camera, while the phones like the iPhone 11 Pro and Google Pixel 4 have excellent software that allows the smaller sensors to produce great shots. OnePlus is stuck in the middle of these two and the OnePlus Nord picture processing is actually one of the weak spots of the actual phone. Hopefully this is something that OnePlus have corrected for the OnePlus 8T. The phone is also listed with a 4500mAh battery and 65 watt wire charging with advertisements saying it does a day's usage within 15 minutes of charging. This would mean it has faster charging than both the OnePlus 8 and the OnePlus 8 Pro. For Android, OnePlus's Oxygen OS is perhaps the best non-stop version of Android around, thanks to its limited but intelligently implemented additional features that don't clog up your phone with pointless apps. Android 11 is in beta right now for the OnePlus 8 phones, but by the time the OnePlus 8T series will launch, or even the actual launch event, Auction OS 11 should be available. At the end of the day, when the OnePlus 8 came out, we thought it wasn't the absolutely best value we've seen from Chinese phone makers. With competitions like Oppo and Realme, who are giving a similar experience and a few more features for a little less than the OnePlus 8, was a little hard to chew compared to those other makes. However, you do get Auction OS, and if you're shopping for a new Android handset and want a near to close Android vanilla experience with many security security updates and a new Android OS's in the future, we are sure that the OnePlus 8T will be worth buying as long as they chuck in a few extra features and tweak a few issues what they had with the OnePlus 8 and also the Nord. So what are your thoughts on the OnePlus 8T? Will it be on your shortlist for your next phone or will you be buying something else? Let me know below in the comments. Well guys, it's time to wrap this up. If you've enjoyed this video, please do remember to press like and also don't forget to press subscribe and that bell to hear the latest gaming news, tech news, reviews and comparisons. I'll see you soon guys.